ARK analyst has unmasked the Tesla Cybertruck's enigmatic demand. Let's see if this is destined for mainstream success. You know, friends, in the realm of automotive innovation, Tesla has consistently pushed boundaries and defied conventional norms, right? Now, as the hype around uh, surrounding the upcoming Cybertruck continues to grow, long-time Tesla bull ARK Invest has made a bold prediction that may challenge skeptics and tantalize Tesla enthusiasts alike. Citing intriguing data from Google Trends, ARK Invest suggests that the Cybertruck could emerge as a mainstream sensation akin to the popular Tesla Model Y. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking stories. Longtime Tesla bull ARK Invest predicted that the Cybertruck could be as mainstream as the Tesla Model Y based on Google Trends data. The Tesla Cybertruck certainly seems to elicit strong emotions from people, right? I mean, you can't be ignorant of the look of the truck, but both good and bad, so, which may hint at its projected demand. In a recent blog entry, ARK Invest wrote about the Tesla Cybertruck's demand. It explained why other analysts might have low demand forecasts for Elon Musk's unique pickup truck. Here's a quote. In addition to 1.5 million existing Cybertruck reservations, early Google Trends data suggests that the Cybertruck could be as mainstream as the Tesla Model Y, wrote ARK Invest analyst Sam Kors. In another quote, he said, on April 2, 2023, just as Elon Musk tweeted that he was walking the Cybertruck production line, the number of searches for the Cybertruck on Google exceeded those for the Model Y. Can you believe that? As shown um, in the uh, chart. Notably, Cybertruck search volume originated in truck-loving geographies, potentially suggesting a desire to buy, Chorus concluded in, um, in the blog. Data from JTO Dynamics suggested that the Model Y led the world sales ranking of passenger cars in quarter one 2023. Considering JTO's data, the Tesla Model Y is well on its way to becoming the world's best-selling car. Chairman of the board Tesla Motors, Robin Denholm, appeared to confirm JTO's data in the 2023 shareholder meeting. She shared with shareholders that the Model Y became the best-selling vehicle for any kind in Europe in the first quarter of 2023 and best-selling non-pickup in the United States. Elon Musk added to Dan Holm announcement later in the meeting st uh, stating that Tesla is highly confident the Model Y would become the number one best-selling car on earth by the end of the year. Now, Elon Musk Tesla Cybertruck's predictions are the following. From the beginning, Elon Musk set the bar high for Model Y sales. The same cannot be said for the Tesla Cybertruck. While Musk is very proud of the electric vehicle's unique design, he is also acutely aware that it may not be popular with every consumer looking or car buyer, I don't like the word consumer, looking to purchase a pickup truck. The Tesla CEO provided a quick Cybertruck estimated during the last shareholder meeting, predicting that the company might sell between 250,000 to 500,000 units of the all-electric pickup trucks annually. I don't know well will make um, as many as people want and can afford, Musk added. Based on recent reservation estimates, Tesla received over 1 million free orders for the Cybertruck so far. A survey released in April showed that most Tesla Cybertruck reservation holders firmly intend to purchase the vehicle. Demand for the Cybertruck has been repeatedly analyzed since Tesla unveiled the electric pickup truck. This year might provide some answers to the question of the Cybertruck's demand. Tesla is entirely focused on Cybertruck production this year and plans to hold a delivery event before 2023 ends. Let me know your thoughts, friends. What do you expect Cybertruck's demands be? Will it be like Model Y? Better or worse? Tesla's semi-real-world sightings show that a cleaner, quieter future is possible for the trucking sector. And when I say Tesla semi-real-world uh, sighting, I mean the Pepsi Tesla semi, which Pepsi is already using. The Tesla semi may still be in its initial production, but the units that have been delivered to PepsiCo are already making a strong statement in the world. 
if anything, they, these Tesla semis from PepsiCo, emphasize the idea that it is possible to adopt a cleaner, quieter alternative to conventional tracking solutions featuring large, noisy, class 8 diesel power uh, similarities, uh, actually semi-trailers today. It is easy to forget that while diesel power trucks have been the norm for a very long time, they do come with their own set of inconveniences. In 2021, researchers from the University of Michigan highlighted the issue of noise and air pollution caused by these heavy-duty diesel trucks running through neighborhoods in southwest Detroit. Residents in affected neighborhoods told the media that the presence of large diesel trucks is challenging because they tend to be noisy and their emissions are significant. Some residents also noted that constant sound from the diesel trucks had become a stressor for them. Actually, they have they are stressors for me when I hear them. Anyway, such issues are directly addressed by vehicles like the Tesla Semi. Being all electric, the Semi is arguably the quietest class 8 truck on the road today in the world with most of the vehicle sounds seemingly coming from its wheels. The absence of an exhaust pipe on the Tesla Semi also means that regardless of where the Semi travels, people around it would not need to worry about inhaling harmful substances. Needless to say, the Tesla Semi is a glimpse of cleaner, quieter future for the trucking sector. And thanks to the growing number of Pepsi Tesla Semi fleet, the electric vehicle community can now get a glimpse of what an electric truck powered future could be like. Um, and I wonder how many other companies have already ordered, uh, ordered their Tesla Semis just like Pepsi did. Social media posts featuring the Class 8 all electric truck in action, I mean Pepsi Tesla Semi, show that the Semi is indeed a very quiet vehicle. Vehicle, and unlike its diesel-powered counterparts, it would likely not be as much of a nuisance for residents even if it travels through inner city streets. The lack of noise and emissions from the Tesla Semi is only the tip of the iceberg for the Class 8 all-electric truck's inherent advantages. The vehicle is equipped with numerous safety features and driver-centric functions that would likely make the Tesla Semi a great truck to drive even for drivers who have spent decades operating a conventional diesel similarities. Of course, both drivers and operators have to be open-minded enough to try out the Tesla Semi before the vehicle can truly make a difference. By the way, in one of my older reports about Tesla Semi, um, some of you guys asked to show a video how Tesla Semi backs to the loading area. I actually emailed Pepsi uh, asking if they can do a video and send it to me, but I haven't heard from them so far. Now, considering the initial reception of the Tesla Semi from Pepsi and the general public so far, it appears that the enthusiasm surrounding all electric class 8 trucks is very substantial. This is good news overall, as noted by CEO Elon Musk during the Semi's first delivery event. After all, trucks comprise just 1% of all vehicles on the United States road, but they are responsible, look at this, for 20% of all U.S. vehicle emissions and 36% of all U.S. vehicle particulate emissions, it is then in everyone's best interest to change the status quo. So if within 10 years, let's say, or 15 years, the trucking industry's fleet will change from diesel-powered trucks to electric trucks, electric semi-trucks, we can expect a significant change in our emissions and how significantly the clean air uh, will improve in our cities that we all breathe. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Tesla Semi and their growing number of usage friends?